And then Alex looks like a freaking yeah, a Russian yeah. that's He's in a the scary dude. a heavyweight UFC slap fighting promotion <laughs> yeah. where he's out there triangle choking grizzly bears. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey Diana, right? Uh -huh. All right, and you're going to the airport. Let's go. All right, you may want to cover your ears. Getting directions to Los Angeles International Wait, Airport in 0.5 miles. Turn left onto Wilshire. Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash I'm sitting there thinking like who knew I know that you've seen us on rappers react They talking about us on YouTube Hollywood sticks it look like I do magic Maybe he's practicing voodoo I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention Well I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish I'm What's going on everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React Smoke dog, what up? I've got trivia. Oh, I bet. God dang right. How about this one? Yeah. Which penguin sex is larger? Is it the male or is it the female? <laughs> Do we need multiple choice? All um, right, I can give you multiple choice. <laughs> male, <laughs> female, non-binary, ah. cis... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to say the female. Incorrect. Is it a male? It's the male. I know. Actually, you're incorrect. It's not. I'm joking. Oh. It's male. It's there the, are a lot of species where the females fe are bigger. Yeah, that is true, actually. Like, uh, um, there's a lot of fish. Yeah. Where, yeah. yeah. Okay, how about this? Uh, mm, let's see. Let me. Okay, how about this? Who was the red-haired female character in the Scooby-Doo cartoon franchise? Everybody oh, is it those. Thelma? Who? Thelma. Nope. What was the uh, Daphne? There you yeah. go. All right, I know you're not actually. Actually, I'm gonna. Yeah, uh, no, I'm not gonna give you that. Okay, which sport? You... Okay, yeah, which sport? You know what? You want one or two? Pick one. Uh, two. All right. So, because I don't know if they're talking about soccer or American football, uh. but what city was host to the first official association football game in 1863? Association football? Yes. What city was host to the first official association football game in 1863? So that was college. Are we talking and American football? If we're talking American football, which makes sense because that would be 150 years or, or over that now, which is around the time that they started. Um, and I, it was I the could, Ivy Leagues. I could let this dude talk for hours on football, but go <laughs> ahead. It was the Ivy Leagues, and I want to say it was Yale – Maybe what's what city is or what state is Yale in Boston? Uh, uh, I, I'll say it has a connection with Boston, and New England. Okay, is it uh, Maine or Rhode Island? New Connecticut? England. Uh, well, New England Patriots are in Boston, but London. Oh, oh, oh. so this is soccer then. See, that's why you asked for number two. <laughs> I just gave you what you asked for. All right, so let's see. Uh, Welcome to hell. You got it, my friend. <laughs> guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that <laughs> thumbs up button. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what you react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos. I come to rally from you. Right down in the comment section and over on Patreon. And today. We have another wonderful suggestion from one of our wonderful Patreon members who goes by the name of Carp. Yes. yes. Shout out to you, Carp, because you are a loyal Patreon member, my friend. And guys, if you get, if you want to support us, the best way to do that is through Patreon. We'll talk more about it later in the video. Helps us put out all these videos every day. Link is in the description. But Carp, you mm -hmm. are a loyal Patreon member, and you've sent us over some more Alex Terrible. Yes. Slaughter to prevent. Yeah. And then yeah. Yeah. Doesn't it just make the <laughs> yeah. yeah? It just gets the testosterone pumping. God, give me slaughter some prednisone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, but you do the you do. You're the not just gonna prevail. You're gonna slaughter to prevail. And then yeah. if, if you do that, where are you gonna go? To hell. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> See you there, pal. Calm it down, <laughs> just a smidgen, there, brother. All right, all right. Alex, terrible. Yeah. One of the one of those growlers that, yeah. dude. I come on, 
Listen, Carp, shout out to you and all your love on Patreon, but Trash Talkers, keep it real. How many of these bands, these deep guttural growl bands, drink like carbonated water before they go on? You got Something, to. Something's got to rough up the vocal cords. You got to have that, that. When you drink carbonated water, you get the, that burp. <laughs> you saying it's a burp? Half of those ain't words. That's just burps. <laughs> and he want to say excuse sound. me so bad. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> a lot of the death metal bands do the throw up sound. <laughs> yeah. But listen, Slaughter to Prevail is one of those bands that do it and they do it well. And yeah. I'm joking about the carbonated built burping thing because they actually, not only are there we've seen them live mm-hmm. we've seen their official videos yeah dude with their mask and the drummers yeah, and the, the guitar chrome mask and the gold mask yes yeah. dude and then alex looks like a freaking yeah. a russian that's He's in a the scary dude. a heavyweight ufc slap fighting promotion <laughs> yeah. where he's out there triangle choking grizzly bears <laughs> yeah. i mean one of those like five on one fights yeah and he's the one on another five are coming (laughs) exactly oh man i bet he's i bet kingpin's tried to get him in that promotion if y'all know what we talking about kingpin y'all know what we're talking about oh yeah but no okay hell slaughter to prevail come on now we we, i think we both are gonna think this is the same thing yeah it's it's gonna be something evil smoke up what up let's get it let's do it see yeah Take 
It's definitely top three. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've heard, like, to the Hellfire by Lorna Shore was dope. Yeah. And even the first song we did by Slaughter Prevail was pretty damn heavy. Yeah, it was. Yeah. That was the one where they were in, I don't the venue, it kind of looked like the Hammerstein Ballroom, but I'm not sure exactly where it was. But, dude, I've said it in, in all these videos, like, will there ever be heavier metal than this? I don't. See how? how? How can you get? Where any- is there to go from there? You've made the heaviest music known to man, both Slaughter to Prevail and Lorna Shore. This deathcore, and we're not comparing the two. No, no, yeah. But enjoy I mean, we. Enjoy, but- I'm, I'm sure Carp and the Trash Talkers out there, y'all can agree that this is deathcore. Yeah, this is deathcore. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, we didn't understand a. Man, I swear to God, dude. I I ain't even gonna say it again if y'all know my motto with the universal languages. I'll just say that. We ain't know one damn word this dude <laughs> no, was saying. But you felt it, you though. You <laughs> felt I mean, that, it's, dude, you, like, it just wanna, just like, yeah. hit you in your chest, yeah. man, music. I gotta, I, I gotta speak on something real quick. All right. We know how dope Alex Terrible's voice is. We uh, know that, right? Yeah. We know what he can hit the highs, the lows. We know their guitarist is on point. Their drummer, I don't know how this dude is, and I don't know how he's not like, like one of, like some people don't classify him as like one of the greatest new modern era drummers because at the beginning of it, I mean, he like, how yeah. <laughs> humanly. How is yes, that possible? That double bass. And, and dude, he's even using symbols. I've never, like, he's using inverted symbols. Oh, yeah. Like, I've seen a few of them use that. What yeah. are those called? I don't know what you, I guess inverted symbols. I'm not sure exactly what you would call it. To our drummers. Uh, yeah, our drummers out there, let us know. Yeah. I mean, we, look, this is just one of these things where, again, man, Patreon, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's Patreon, man. <laughs> like, I just want to know, like, where do you go from here? Like, what comes next? Yeah. Because I'm sure, like, so Iron Maiden and uh, Judas Priest come out back in the, the 70s. There. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure they came out in the 70s and people were like, wow, that's the heaviest music ever known to man. Yeah. You can't get heavier than that, right? And then the 80s come around and you get Thrash and Metallica and Megadeth, you know. And they're, and like, they're like, no, it can't get yeah, heavier it than can't that. get heavier than that. Okay. Then you get into death metal and black metal and they're like, okay, that's it. That's it. Then metalcore comes along, and then deathcore comes <laughs> yeah. along. What? Like, can... how do you get heavier God. than this? I mean, I guess I can think of a way to get heavier. It's freaking sinister, and I'm not even gonna say it. But like, if you literally start slaughtering things, you could get <laughs> a little heavier. But I don't know if I want that to happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Let's let's not go down that road. Let's yeah. again. I, I said it about technology. We have enough. Stop making new stuff. Eventually, <laughs> robots and, and AI is just going to take over and take over yeah. our jobs. We don't need any more technology. We're yeah. good. Just stop. We got our Instagrams. We got the YouTubes. We got microphones. We got internet. We got phones. We got everything. We got everything we need technologically to live and be you know, sustainable with life. I'm going to say the same thing about Deathcore. Yeah. We good. Yeah. What else do we need? I mean, this is it. Like, do you need anything heavier? No. I mean, in my opinion, I don't think so. But here's the thing, Smokey. Somebody's going to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody's- how, though? That's the question is how. That will be our best reaction ever. Maybe there is some kind of tuning out there that, that you can figure it out. But Possibly. I, it just doesn't make sense to me. I just know if that whoever trash talkers, Carp, 
if there's someone who can take it past this level, <laughs> yeah. send it to us. Because we don't – when and we're, the reason he brought up Lorna Shore and Slaughter to Prevail is because those are the two deathcore bands yeah. where it was like, what do you do yeah, after this? when you listen to either one of them, you're like, that is that is the – That's it. That's, yeah. that's it. That's the pinnacle. Like there's nothing beyond that. You just fall off the edge of the earth. <laughs> there's nothing there's left. No- <laughs> Please go home. <laughs> Man, listen, Carp, thank you so much for all your love and support uh, Porto Patreon. Again, guys, if you want to support us, the greatest way to do that is through Patreon. It's only five dollars a month. And mm-hmm. put your video on rotation. It shows you what we're gonna do the day beforehand. Uh we, we talk, we have chats over there, you know, uh, there's suggestion threads and it, it ultimately it also helps us put out all these videos that we do every single day for mm-hmm many years to come and carp just gave the prime example as to why absolutely 100 percent, guys let us know what's next by slaughter to prevail down in the comment section and with that being said my name's behringer hollywood six but i am larry smoky ramirez and we are over and out deuces see ya we can't get no here. yeah let's go slaughter I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another segment of Rappers React. If you guys want to see another artist that we covered, just click uh, right here. If you want to see the last video did, just click right over here. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us today. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.